the RV life has made us unstable. I'm good with it, but some more than others. Leslie's getting the shakes. <laughs> Corny dad joke. We got some uh, stabilizers to keep the RV from rocking back and forth and to and fro and all that good stuff. Sometimes it's fun to rock the RV. <laughs> huh? <laughs> not not all the time. All not time. just for general daily walking, walking. purposes <laughs> and things like that. So we're gonna try to we're gonna try to calm her down a little bit mm -hmm. and uh, try these stabilizers out and uh, let you know how they work mm -hmm. out. They are Valterra stabilizers. We got two stabilizers. One's supposed to keep the rocking from front to back yeah. at a minimum, and the other one's supposed to minimize the left to right. Yeah. So I think you put these things in the frame. Yep. One by the stairs, yep. and then one in the back. back. Okay, let's do it. So open the box up and uh, take it out. And it comes in a cool little, cool little carrying case. So when you're done at your site, you just bag it up. And toss it in the basement. I'm sure this is all like packaged up in here. Yeah. Yep. It's all packaged up right now, so we'll undo this and we'll show you what all is inside. Now, when you're putting stuff together, it's very important to locate the directions. Practice and what you it's preach. It's gonna be good because they have pictures. Oh. You don't need to read the words. You just look at the pictures. Yeah. And you're good to go. It's always worked well for you. Hey. All right. So we got to this point. Um, it's already all put together. You just gonna clip these out. And you want to make sure that these, I guess, are at a 45 to 60 degree angle. And then, depending on how tall your your RV is up off the ground, you can adjust the height. Um, looks like we're way too tall right now, so we're gonna adjust the height down. You're gonna make sure that the uh, hook pins are on the inside of the legs. So say it's the instructions. <laughs> As you can see here, it's, a, it's too tall right now. If I put it up here, it's gonna to be too short. But um, so the way you do that is, as long as you can still keep it at a 45 degree angle, you just kick your legs out further. And then you can slide it. And push the legs back tight together. That way it's up against your frame. Make sure it's on your frame. Make sure it's not on any plastic or fiberglass or anything like that. It has to be on the frame of your RV. Uh, again, with these uh, hitch pins on the inside. And now it's up there snug, and these legs are still within the 45 to 60 degree parameter that the instructions say. Uh, I think the next step is go into the ratchet strap. This is just regular ratchet strap. I mean, you know, use a ratchet strap. It's a regular ratchet strap. <laughs> and do not over tighten. That should be about good. That's uh, it's tight, but it's not. Uh, if I tighten it any more, you could hear it. You could hear it snugging up against this. I don't know if you hear it on the on the tape, but you could hear it snugging up against there. So that's enough to, uh, to get it on there. And this one is for the front to back. So this should stabilize the front to back. Our biggest problem is, is left to right, though. It's going to be a little bit more challenging because the back is not on concrete. It's on the gravel back there. So we'll go see how that's going to work. All right. So this is the second stabilizer. Already got it out a lot faster than the, than the first one because we kind of know what we're doing now. The bad part about this one is it's on the gravel instead of on the concrete, but I don't think it's going to be uh, a big deal. It just says make sure it's on stable ground. This is still stable ground, and you see that it's still at 45 degree angle. I got a little bit of little bit of gap in there, so it's loose right now. So when I uh, tighten up these ratchet straps, it should snug it right up against the frame there. Again, uh, you want it on your frame. You don't want it on any uh, any fiberglass or any plastic or anything like that. You hooked it up in there, it would just it would just break stuff. So let's get it on, and then we'll do the test. All right installed it took about what 10 minutes yeah and that's with filming and everything i mean 
remain super easy to put on. So let's go inside and see the chakes. Well, the stabilizers are on. The, the Valterra stabilizers. We got one over there behind the steps for front to back stabilization and then we have one in the back on the frame for the left to right stabilization. And um, while it was not 100% no. uh, reduction, I'd say I can tell a difference. Yes, I noticed. Absolutely. So less movement, less rocking in the RV. Hoped for a little more of a notice, but I think our conditions play a factor right now. Yeah, it, we're, we're on the very back of a concrete slab. Uh, our tires are on, on the, well not, yeah, yeah our rear tires are on the, the back of a, of a concrete slab. And then behind the slab, uh, it's gravel and it slopes down a little bit. So uh, when you put the stabilizer on, there's a bigger variance. So when you put them on, the legs have to stand up taller. I think if the whole RV was on the concrete slab, you could kick those legs out more mm -hmm. and it would provide more stability. But I would pray, you know, if you were if you were guessing like percentage wise, what percentage reduction would you say there is? Almost half. I was gonna say fifty percent. I would say I'd say half. I mean, I, um, I have I hold high standards. Because... Yeah, but I mean, I'm the heavy walker. Yeah. And I can I can before the stabilizers, I could feel the, the RV moving when I walked, and even though she can still feel it when I walk, I couldn't feel it as much when I was walking. I notice more of a difference going in and out of the RV. Yeah, when you're on the steps going in and out, it used to like rock the whole RV coming in and out. But now, um, I hardly felt it at yeah. all when I came And it's in. totally on concrete and that's why I say and conditions that, might be a factor. Yeah, and even though that the stabilizer behind the stairs is for front to back, I think that that being right right behind the stairs probably yeah. helps that left to right when you're getting on and off, on and off the yeah. stairs too. So, um, I don't know, I would recommend it. I mean, because of ease of installation, um, you yeah. don't have to install anything on your RV. It's not difficult. Um, Anybody could do that. It takes about 10 minutes. Right. They're they're small. They have their own little carrying cases. They fit right in your storage. Um, you do have to remember to take them down before you take <laughs> off. Yes, please. They'll be toast. Yeah. Um, so we gotta remember <laughs> that. Add that to the checklist of things mm -hmm. when we're setting up and tearing down. Uh, is those those stabilizers? Yeah. I would definitely uh, I definitely recommend. Yeah. Um, if you're looking for something quick, easy. And you want to reduce um, by a little bit. Um, if you don't have bad movement, I think these should probably fix, you know come Take close to, yeah. to fixing yours yours completely. We have a bigger RV, and so the bigger your RV, the more you're going to. Yeah, be. the longer your rig yeah. is, and the, the wider it is, the more movement yeah. you're going to get. Um, and we have a long rig and a, and a wide rig, um, so and heavy slides. Uh, but yeah, I'm satisfied. So if you want some Valterra stabilizers, we'll put a link in the description below so you can go get some. They are um, about 46 bucks per stabilizer. Yeah. And I mean, if you're not having an issue front to back, you only need one for left to right. But I mean, just better safe. We wanted to get two. Yeah. To make sure that we were good. So we got two. So overall, a um, little over 90 bucks for the pair. Well, we got done with the video. <laughs> we got done shooting. And then Leslie had an aha. An epiphany moment. <laughs> we still, since we switched to the snap pads, we still have the stabilizing blocks. Yeah, our old ones. Or the old blocks that went under the uh, the, the jacks. So Leslie was like, "Well, if we put those out, because it's it is a flat, smooth surface. Because of the slope of the gravel in the back of the RV, that would bring it up a little oh, bit, yeah. and then you could kick those arms further out. And yeah, further out, more stable. And make more logically, stable. that makes more sense. So we did that. Yeah. And then more stable yeah I noticed the difference so we were at 50 percent I'd say we're probably at like 60 well 65. for me I was almost at 50 so yeah. I'm at 50 now, now I'd say well, I was more than that <laughs> but anyway it but it was way more tolerable noticeable difference yeah just that little bit um, and let me show you what we're talking about yeah. um, so we did here these guys were were further in because these arms were extended as far as they could go so these were standing almost straight up so that this bar could reach the the frame and that's because from the concrete down here it slopes down so there's less of a gap up there than there is down here so what we do we put the stabilizing jacks out here uh, so we can lift this up which allows these arms to come out further which provides more stability yeah giving the bigger wingspan to brace made a difference yeah it really did 
Okay. But anyway, that's a wrap on this video, right? Yes. Okay. All right. We're going to do what we do on Sundays in honor of Fallen Hero. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.